It's the end of an era. Surprisingly, I did not see this coming because the Xbox 360 store just closed. We're going to talk about what that means from a GameSpot article and just mourn it for a second. Anyways, you guys, let's get into this article. Let's go. It genuinely is surprising that we are moving, since we moved into the digital age, this is one thing that did happen last year, and I didn't really speak on it, and that is the closure of the 3DS, uh, the 3DS store and the Wii U store closing, and that happened on March 27th last year. Anyways, today is the end of the Xbox 360 store. It's crazy to think that, in my opinion, the Xbox 360 era was the golden age of online gaming. Granted, you did have to pay for Xbox Live and a lot of those services, but it was all a learning experience because I was there from the beginning, basically. I started online gaming in 2008, I think it was, when we finally we were finally upgraded from dial-up internet to cable internet. Yes, I had dial-up internet until I was almost 18. Anyways, the Xbox 60, 360 store is closing, and the marketplace was live for almost 19 years. That really makes me old. Because, like, I was 15 when it opened. Anyways, the final countdown has begun for the Xbox 360 store, which finally, which officially shutters today after opening shop almost 19 years ago. That means you won't be able to buy Xbox 360 games or DLC in the marketplace in a matter of hours. However, they will still be able to play and re-download for people who already purchased that content. Which, I have a ton of digital Xbox 360 games. It, it was kind of mind-boggling because I was looking at my uh, library on my Xbox Series X. Or, yeah, Series X. And, like, I have something like 800 games. But you also got to realize they did the Xbox Games of Gold for the longest time. And I had that for well over 10 years. And they were releasing two and three games a month for that. Larry Herb, known as Major Nelson, marked the occasion on X, formerly known as Twitter, saying that it was his pleasure sharing all those thousands of marketplace sales and updates I've given over the years. Just over a year ago, Herb left Xbox spending 22 years with Microsoft, with his last position being Senior Director of Corporate Communications. That is kind of sad. Like I, I follow him on uh, Twitter, and he... He would always like give all kinds of really good updates, and especially like good updates on sales for the marketplace as well. In August of 2023, Microsoft announced that the Xbox 360 store would be closing today, July 29th, giving people almost a year heads up. Additionally, the Microsoft, I mean, the Microsoft Movie and TV app will no longer function on the Xbox 360 system, which to me doesn't really make sense that they pulled. The Microsoft Movies and TV app from the 360. I, I mean, I guess they can continuously update it, but it'd be a pain in the butt. Meaning you can't view your content on those consoles. However, comma, Microsoft does say that any backwards compatible Xbox 360 and original Xbox games will still be available for purchase on the one Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and Xbox.com, which. There's a lot of games that are not backwards compatible. Lollipops and Chainsaws are one. And they're set to actually release that remake or reskin, whatever it is, like sometime later on this year. Online multiplayer support, meanwhile, depends on the publisher and the developer. For Xbox 360 games will not be affected by the store shuttering. As for the Xbox, the big update for consoles and cloud arriving later this month, bringing new backward uh, background customization, subscription management on consoles, and mouse and keyboard functionality for cloud gaming. That's uh, it's kind of interesting to see that. Let's take a look at the comments. That sucks. <laughs> this guy's like, that sucks. The last system update they talked about wiped my Xbox 360 and all my games. I was pissed. One thing I really dislike about the 360 is I couldn't go and view a list of all my games, so I have no idea what all I had there. That's a good point. I didn't even think about that. Uh, sucks. Still have my Xbox 360. I fire it up every now and then. Uh, well, I'll still have a bunch of games, though, so I'm happy anyways. Yeah, I have, I have my original Xbox 360 and 
a, a but, metric butt ton of games. <laughs> Q, the de detractors lambasting Microsoft for abandoning its fan base on a 19-year-old system. I I just think it's a matter of time. I mean, when it comes to all this kind of stuff, there you got to update it. You got to constantly be doing stuff to protect you know, the cybersecurity, I guess you could say. And it's kind of a sad day that they're shutting it down. Um, I didn't even know that they were shutting it down until I got the news earlier today, actually. Let's go full screen. So, it's the end of the Xbox 360 store. At least we still have the Xbox One, the Series X and S, that we could still go and potentially play our backwards compatible games on. Um, I did think it was, so one thing I do think is interesting talking about games is that there was, there was of course a Deadpool game. I think it was released for, uh, the Xbox 360. And then of course they did an update for the Xbox one and the PS4. Anyways, I don't know if you guys look, but the physical copy of that, because they discontinued the digital copy due to licensing issues shot up usually like i guess last week or two weeks ago it was like a 40 dollar game and right now it's at like 150 dollars. it's crazy sometimes when you're looking for physical games especially on a digital place where a lot of stuff you know you can buy it digitally but when licenses run up and the only way you can play games and game preservation is when you actually go and download or go and purchase the game disc not download Purchase the game disc to play it. Also, I feel like the Xbox 360 was like the last era of games where you could put in a disc and all you'd have to do is worry about updates. For the most part, it's going to play because everything was on the disc. Anyways, you guys, don't forget to mash that like button. Comment down below. What was your favorite Xbox 360 game? And also, what was your favorite Xbox 360 like memory? Mine was the 2009 Call of Duty Lobbies. Anyways, you guys, don't forget to subscribe. We're on our way to 9,000 subscribers. I don't know what's happening. I'm having stuff popping up. And I can't do, like, popping off, not popping up. And I can't do this stuff without you guys. You guys are awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. And I'll catch you guys later.